Right, just a quick video today, nothing too exciting. Uh, you won't see one of these on a two-stroke though. Uh, that is a little part I machined on my lathe. Um, and I just cut the threads using you know, a regular outside diameter thread cutter. Uh, this is going to be the oil filler plug for my front billet plate that I made. You can see there's a little recess in there to have a little gasket. Or a little grommet, that's the right word. Um, and what I'm going to do today is just the machine the hex so I can grab that with a wrench. Um, and I just wanted to do a quick little update on the engine. Um, I have fabricated a manifold. And the thing is, I realized that these little engines have all these performance parts. But, the racing manifolds that they have, racing manifolds, they're not calculated for shit. They are not calculated at all. So they're actually a performance hit uh, a lot of the times. The only exception is there's this one long one that loops around and brings the carb up here somewhere. Um, but this needs to be pretty long. So what I did is I calculated the length, um, you know, from the valve uh, all the way up to where the flap is inside the carb. And uh, this should give me, this should move the power band up into the seven and a half to eight and a half thousand RPM range. And uh, of course that's obviously not exam or exact. And um, I also added a velocity stack here. Uh, that guy's 3D printed for now out of PLA. We'll see how that bears. And if it doesn't work too well, I'm gonna print it in a better material. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this actually affects this length. And so, I'm gonna look into that and possibly shortening this tube or modifying the velocity stack. But we'll see how it performs first. I also did a little uh, artwork with my TIG welder. You know, somebody said, oh, it's a work of art. And I remember, you know, it just so happens that I'm actually an artist. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but you'll notice the ch channel name is called Dimitri's Gallery. I am in fact an artist, so I went all out and did some decorations. I also did that on the header, which brings me to the next part. The exhaust header is a new one. Uh, it's kind of ugly. I really don't like that shape. Um, but the problem with the old one is it started out as this uh, one and a half. So this is for a waste gate, actually. This tube size, it's one and a half inch. Um, and it was one and a half inch all the way from the port, which is not a good thing. You actually need to port match the header. Uh, so it has better qualities for actually pulling the exhaust gases out the exhaust and pulling the heat away from the engine and makes it more efficient. So I switched over to port match. It also matches the intake manifold, obviously. I got my head reassembled. I uh, got the rest of the engine reassembled. I have the front plate all reassembled and the engine is closed. I have a starter. I've modified the flywheel uh, to get rid of the fins because we have a propeller which is going to cool. Uh, we'll see if that is sufficient. I've also machined it to accept the ring gear. There's also charging coils on the inside to charge a battery for electric start. And I tested this and it works exceptionally well. So here's the quick and dirty and simple setup. Uh, I just have a little piece of scrap, half inch thick, uh, 6061 aluminum, doesn't matter what it is, clamped to my working table in my mail. And I'm gonna do just a quick and dirty bore a hole that's the same diameter as these threads. Since I know the center of that, machine's already centered, I don't have to deal with dial indicators. I'm just gonna super glue that in place, machine it, pop it off with some heat, and we're done.
Alright, last but not least, got my quote unquote chamfer mill in there. And as you that out. Last step, bam, 17 millimeter, done. That was easy. Got my hole plug, my little gasket. All right, just one more thing left and then I'm gonna test fire it. And so, now, the big reveal. I think that will do just fine. Thanks for watching.